All right, guys, we got UTEP versus the Rice Owls. So we're going to see how we do up against some lower level competition. They're currently 2-5. and five. We're 6-0. and oh. Let's hope that we come out with a win against a uh, pretty trash team. Uh, but they are rated higher than us, so <laughs> I guess that doesn't mean much. They might end up coming and blowing us out. But we are going to see. All right, UTEP, 6-0. 3-0 in the Conference USA. Rice, 2-5. 2-1 in Conference USA. Okay, so this is actually a big game. Let's see how we do. Oh, of course, it's got to be raining. I do a whole lot of running. Hopefully, there's not too many fumbles. Start with a pass here. Let's see how it goes. Rough. I'm apparently just going to pass the ball today. Who knows? for two. God, this is a rough start to a game, especially when we've been scoring 40 points a game. And a sack. Oh, God, we're going to lose to Rice. And we got Texas A&M next week. There we go, big time. All right, nice seven yard run. Let's go, set it up, do it again. Man, that quarterback is slow. back with a big time run. Boom. 14 yards and a first down. Can we keep up this momentum? I don't know. But at least we're in field goal range, although it is raining, so we might not even be in field goal range. Ah, oh, if he had just broken one tackle. <laughs> Isn't that always the statement? Well, if he just broke those 10 tackles, he would have gone for a touchdown. All right, we're going to try running the ball again. That's been our success so far this game. Boom. Another success. Almost a touchdown. He's got a 14-yard run and 15-yard run. He's got 20 yards rushing, 29 yards rushing, baby. And hopefully he gets this touchdown right here because that's what I'm doing. Run the ball. Run the ball. Whoop. Got it to the quarterback. Touchdown. Boom. We got the lead. Rice ain't got nothing on me. I think we're going to start spreading it out five wide, though, when we pass it instead of these uh, two, three receiver sets. I'd like to go five wide, get a little bit more open, especially against defenses that are a little bit better. I'd recorded a really awesome game that got into the ESPN number two because it was uh, we drove about 95 yards with a minute left to score the go-ahead touchdown to win the game and uh, it apparently didn't record any of it and it was awesome there were tons of great plays in there and I feel so bad because I wished you guys would have saw that one Pretty sure I may have gotten a singular like or subscribe to the video on that video because it was an awesome game. <coughs> I 
We cannot seem to get a pass complete this game, but we are at least getting some yards rushing. Now we have the lead, 7-0 against Rice. That part's good. Problem is, is we can't seem to get any yards passing on a team that is not that good. Oh my gosh, I just threw my sixth interception on the season. Oh, this game is not going as planned. I was hoping to come out here and just blow these guys out the water. And I cannot even get a completion. I've got one completion, but it's for zero yards. Alright, I'm going deep. Let's see if we can get one deep pass. Nah, at least I'll get it to... There we go. We have positive yards passing now. Three whole yards passing. Two of six for three yards. This is the single worst game I've had to start in a while. There we go. There we go. Big time. Big time catch and run. All right. I'm pretty sure he's just a sophomore receiver, so I'll get another year with him unless I get a uh, head coaching job somewhere. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm not just going to go get another OC job. If it's another OC job, I'm going to stay with my current team. I'm going to make this conservative catching because we are not catching the ball at all. I'm also not throwing the ball all that well, so there's that. There we go. Eight yard reception to the running back. Also the highest rated player on the team. Quarterback's only like a 75 or a 76. Boom, big time run. Oh my gosh, he will go all the... Oh, he got stopped. Big time run. By a what? Alright, here we go. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can get another big time run. Let's get this thing into the end zone. Oh, we're going to pancake him, we're going to stiff arm him, and then we're going to get tackled. Alright, but he's got 82 yards rushing already. He's having a big time game. Quarterback has about uh, 3 yards rushing on the day. <laughs> and 7 yards passing. Big numbers. Ah, I thought I could get around. I could not get around. Got 2 yards to go. All right, we're going to try to dive right here. I think if I move him over to here, that might free up. The, it did not. Oh, well, got him. First and goal. Now we got three plays to get the first down. I mean, to get the touchdown. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, no. I think my quarterback just got injured. Yep. So now I've got the backup quarterback who is even slower than my starting quarterback. Not good. But a what? Got the touchdown. We're up 14-3. Let's see if our defense gets a stop here. Boom. They got the stop. All right. Elbow Bruce Addis will return soon. All right, well, then let's have some fun with this thing. Let's get a deep pass. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Boop. Yeah, I'm just on her way. <laughs> I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep my guy in for a little longer because I don't want to risk an injury. I don't know why they went deep again. I just clicked it way too fast. But got it to a what? A what? The big time catching game. All right, let's push the ball upfield. I'm going to change this play up a little. We're going to go a little bit of a shorter route. See if they're in man coverage. If they're in man coverage, I'm hitting X. I don't know if they were in zone, I'm hitting X too. Because he does the hitch route. 
in zone, he does the out route and man. He went into his zone, hit the hitch route. Let's do it again. All right, two of three, 19 yards. Uh-oh, do I need to start him? The answer is no, because he's slow as dirt. Same as my other quarterback. Neither one of them's really all that fast, but I think, I think Hardison, Hardison is like a 75 for speed, and Brown something is not. <laughs> oh no! I fumbled it into the end zone. No, I was trying to jump over to get the touchdown. And I fumbled it into the end zone. That is killer. Just killer. I got my first big throw of the day. All right. Oh, man, I threw that ball. He got laid out, but I had already thrown it. And, that's kind of annoying. But oh well. We'll try one more deep throw. Nah, we'll go short just to get a completion. Whew, this has been a defensive battle. I think it's mainly because of the rain. This game actually does do a pretty good job of simulating rain. Uh, when it comes to the actual passing attack, it makes it a lot more difficult to actually get a completion. They drop a lot more passes. And uh, the throws are a little bit more off target. This is also my first rain game. I should probably run it a heck of a lot more, but I am not. But I should, because that was just a 9-yard gain off a nice simple dive all right there we go another 11 yard rush he's already over 100 yards rushing with three minutes and 40 seconds left in the third we're going to do a passing attack. Let's see if we can get this out route right here. Boom. Got it. First down. All right. He's going to have 100 yards passing potentially. He's at 92 yards right now. If they stay in man coverage. I've got another first down. They blitzed. They're in man. Ah, one yard away from a first down. That is why Flores is my leading receiver. He is the slot receiver, and the slot receiver in this game gets a ton of catches because he is always open. All right, there we go. Big time run. There we go. Yeah, 11 yards. I think that's 30 yards rushing from 25. Man, those sacks are killing me. All right, we're going to try this triple option. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I hold on to this ball way too long. Boop, got it. Dang. Four-yard run, still not bad, not bad. I'd take four-yard average. Not a bad average. Russian. All right, can we get a nice, easy run with Hawkins? Because, a oh, wah, it seems to be out. I know I was supposed to hold on to it with my quarterback, but I handed that ball off because I thought the corner was going to get me. But my wide receiver ended up blocking pretty well. Should have ran it with my QB. <sighs> Had to throw that ball away. I uh, lived to see another down. Made the field goal. That's good. Got the score. Well, instead of stopping them, we let them score a touchdown. Isn't that great? 19 passes, 21 rushes. We have been solid running the ball. We have been utter trash passing the ball. Oh, big time gain. Boom. 
159 yards rushing. He has 49 yards rushing of those 159. All right, let's see how he does. Can he get another big run? Or is it going to be a what time? Oh, man, that was no blocking downfield. That is some crap on that play. Uh-oh, we got a completion of six whole yards. He's got 80 yards receiving, though. That's not a bad game for a receiver. 80 yards receiving, especially if you've only thrown 107 yards. And one singular guy has 80 of those yards. Uh-oh. There we go. Got him. First down and more. Good job. 17-yard gain by the tight end, Trent Thompson. Really feels like I just need to be running it with a what? Let's see if he can get a big time gain. Probably not. Probably get a nice little 10 yards. It's a pedestrian game for him today. He has 113 yards rushing off 10 carries. That is balls to the walls. Awesome. I'm not going to lie. It kind of makes me want to throw it to a what? See if he can get some good big time gains. A what? With the catch. There we go. 152 yards passing finally. We're, we're halfway to 300. Not a bad game. Not a good game, but not a bad game. Passing. 133 yards from my starting QB. About 30 yards from my backup. All right. Hawkins, backup running back. Four yards. He's got 10 yards rushing. When he was the starting back, uh, while a lot was injured, he, uh, he ended up having two 100-yard games. So that's why he's the star on this team. Ballard, big time, two-yard catch. Whoa. We're at least in field goal range, so I cannot screw this up. I do not like that pass. Let's change this. Uh, that pass is not much better. Oh, no. Ah, oh, he pulled up in the wrong time. I was trying to run it, and I accidentally pulled him up. All right. Let's see. Yes, they're up close. Here we go. All right, watch Smith right here. I think it's going to him. Boom. Got it. Oh. That was just a bad throw. It looked like he got hit by the wind. There's 90 mile an hour wind gusts. That's why that ball stopped midair and dropped to the ground. A what? With another big time 12 yard gain. Nice. He is just going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. There we go. All right, I had to throw that one away. see if we can get a pass here I'm just I'm just trying to get some more pass yards there we go and he went backwards I hate when that happens <sighs> this has quite literally been his worst game passing we were on pace for three maybe four thousand yards passing now he's had two games where he's barely had a passing yard and he fumbled and they got the ball Oh, geez, we have three turnovers this game. This is quite literally the worst game we've had. And if they score, I am, might be screwed. Three seconds left. The smart thing would be to uh, run the ball here, wouldn't it? Let's see what I do. I'm going to throw it away. In the game.
with the win, 20 to 17. All right, guys, that is it. UTEP, 20, Rice, 17, and the rain game where we just had tons and tons of rushing yards and zero and zero passing yards. All right, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.